Outwist, 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 outwist. <laughs> What's up, Sunseeds? What's up? This is your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, Sunseeds, for this message to resonate. Just please make sure you guys are using discernment, okay? What's up, my Sunseeds? What's up? Let's get into this reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angel. Archangel Michael, please protect me. Watch out on the energy to my collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close, shut, and block that door. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, what is the current energy? What's the most important messages that my collective sun seeds need to know right now? So we have worth waiting for, reconciliation, trust, and very soon. So me attract. Somebody got the eye on you, Sunseeds. Spirit is saying you're very deserving of love. There's an offer that's coming in for you guys very soon with a soulmate. Trust, this situation is calling you for you to have faith and reconciliation, attraction, and honeymoon. So somebody could be in the early stages, or this is what this person has in mind when it comes to bringing you an offer. Somebody could daydream a lot about you, but we have reconciliation here. Let's see. Someone from your past is thinking about you, thinking about returning as well. We have faith and intuition. Someone have faith that they can um, <clears throat> work things out with you. But they know they have to build your trust. Mm -hmm. If this is someone you already know with this reconciliation, this is somebody with the honeymoon phases. Like somebody wants to... Um, they want to go back when you guys first started, you know? Or somebody want to start new. They want it to be fresh. Yeah, growth. Fertility. Be careful now. This person could be wanting to knock you up. Yeah, love is on its way. And beginning, I can't make it up. It's like something is new. Somebody is something at the beginning of the stages. Spirit is also saying um, how much you are deserving of love. If someone has given up on a love life or have given up on a love life, Spirit is just saying have a little bit more faith. Okay? Trust that things are happening in, in divine timing. And also allow your intuition to guide you. But Spirit is saying there's a, um, a new beginning when it comes to love. Something going to take off quickly with this growth and fertility. Somebody could be getting pregnant quickly. <laughs> Take out a resume, Sunseeds. Give me more Holy Spirit. With this reconciliation, somebody don't want you to get far. Somebody don't want you to walk away. Somebody don't. Mm -mm. Somebody don't want you to start over. Whoever this person is, they don't want you to walk away from them. They feel like you're worth. You're worth it all. Your hard work is paying off. It's giving me like somebody wants to go the distance. Somebody, um, somebody want to work hard when it comes to this connection. You are you are very close to achieving your goal. Mm, that is beautiful, Sunseed. A win-win outcome is on a forecast. Beautiful. Show the world a real you. Some of you guys already um 
already content and freed yourself from whoever this person is that wants to reconcile with you, that wants your trust, that wants um, to gain your trust again. Okay. Um, a lot of you guys are just smelling the roses, you know. <laughs> okay. Show the world a real you and win win outcome is on the forecast. It's giving me you guys a. Somebody is freeing themselves from um, like something that they used to do. Um, somebody have ascended. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody have ascended. Mm -hmm. Somebody went through like a powerful transition and it changed them because we have to um, step out of your comfort zone, North Note. Somebody is fully in a North Note and somebody is looking good. Okay. Working hard, putting that hard work. That's why everything come, that comes to you, Spirit says you deserve it, okay? You're, you're this close to achieving your goals. And with this growth and fertility, for some of you guys, it won't be a pregnancy. It's something that, that you're birthed and you're almost there. All your hard work, okay? All the pain that it took for you to go through this process, when you felt like it was being unnoticed, mm mm you're very close. You're birthed in something. For some of you guys, it will be love. Who's open to this? Others of you guys, you're birthed in um, something um, when it comes to career. Something that you're going to love. Something that you've been working on really hard. Yeah, look. Luck is on your side. Confidence is the key to success. The answers you need are coming. Whoever this person is that want to reconcile with you, they seen you change. Somebody, if this person had other options or or if you were worried that this person was, you know, involved with somebody else, I feel like this person, nobody has this person, the, like, attention the way you do. Yeah, it's, it's giving me that like, this person's eyes is glued on you, like stuck like glue. Somebody watch you change. I'm hearing if it's not you, then they don't, somebody don't want it. Mm hmm This could have been someone uh, where the skills wasn't balanced before, where somebody wasn't putting in uh, work. When it came to this connection. And you decided to, you know, start something new. And it's actually working for you. The end of a tough cycle approaches. A new start is coming. I cannot make it up. This is beautiful. Some of you guys are just um, co-creating with the divine. A lot of you guys not even... <laughs> you like... You probably have no idea how much somebody is missing you. Who would do anything to gain your trust back. Yeah, you are good enough. Somebody made you feel like nothing will come in this situation. Your dream. Somebody could have made you feel like you weren't good enough. And now they regret about that. I feel like the um what this it says worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Something is worth the wait. It's like right before if somebody is manifesting. And right before, it's like right before somebody is thinking about giving up, it's like boom. The manifestation, there you go right there. The manifest manifestation comes to fruition. This is faith and intuition. Like, just believe that the divine and know what is what is doing right now. Okay. Luck is on your side. Spirit is saying your hard work is paying off. I just heard your hard work didn't go unnoticed. Give me more of this energy, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Perseverance. Yeah, this is you moving forward. This is you moving forward. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Somebody could have been somebody could have been thinking about giving up. Spirit is saying, don't. You're very close. I 
I'm hearing you deserve whatever this is in your belly that you birthed in. Yeah, so take that how it resonates. You know, if you're not pregnant and you know what it is that you're birthing. Somebody just got to remain. Somebody got to think positive. Somebody might have had a relationship where they felt like they, they feel like a failure. Somebody feels like a failure, Sunsteeds. They feel like they failed you in a connection. Somebody feels like they actually lost your trust. Because of, maybe possibly because of some um, deception before. That caused the separation. And you decided to focus on yourself. Because something was cautioning you about whoever this person is that wants to connect with you. But mm, it's fair to say whoever the new love is the true love. Ooh, okay. This could be the one. Spirit saying the new love is the true love. <laughs> okay. Forgiving and learning. As you re um oh these guys let me go. As um forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. Yes, yeah, somebody, yeah. Yeah, somebody is releasing their ex, past life, deception, and free yourself. Mm -hmm. You and this person had too many differences. You guys had too many differences. Um... Somebody could have been making you feel like you couldn't move on. Maybe you weren't sure whether you want to completely free yourself from this connection. But let's see. Somebody could have changed, you know, balance, freedom, and trust. So spirit is saying, as you persevere, okay, um, balance is being restored in your life. Mm -hmm. As you free yourself it's giving me like that'll be your justice. Now things can come into balance. Your intuition will will not steer you wrong, okay? Somebody needs to listen to their intuition like really, really even more. You should always listen to your intuition, period. But somebody needs to listen to their intuition even more right now. Okay? When it comes um a person, place, a thing, or whatever this is, okay? Somebody is worried that they let their pride get in the way when it came to this connection. Somebody feels like you're winning and they're nowhere around. Mm -hmm. You're different. You're unique. And that's what makes you magical. That's what makes you... um, Like, just, yeah, magical... The way how you manifest, like, that's your magic. Your magic is you being just that unicorn, different. And that is your magic right there. But something wasn't happening. Maybe as you, um, as quick as you thought. But Spirit is saying that divine timing is at work in your love life. Something's going to be a masterpiece. And you worked hard for this. You worked hard. And this new start is here. But there's something that needed to be released and let go. So you can move forward to have balance. Because whoever, whoever this, um, it says free yourself, deception, and past life. <sighs> you know, somebody didn't trust someone. Yeah. It's like now that somebody got the courage to do what's right for them, it's like someone blames. They could have blamed you. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. Somebody knows you're an empath. Be very sensitive to his energies. People, places, and things. And somebody could have played on that. 
it's like when somebody feels like it's a failure, it's actually like a new beginning. It's like a blessing in disguise. You know? Somebody about to be like, whatever this is, somebody is going to be shocked. Like, they is going to be shocked. Somebody went through a powerful transformation, death and acceptance. And I love this for you. The end of a tough cycle approaches. With this show the world around you, I feel like whoever was in your energy that was deceptive, I feel like somebody was like trying to dim your light. Like somebody is meant to be seen. Somebody could have just, if something could have just been wearing and tearing you down. Somebody, somebody wanted to take your life for themselves. See, this person was selfish when you were dealing with. They wanted your life for themselves. But spirit gave you this light. Because spirit knew that you would be a light for not just for yourself. You would be a light, a, a light for, for others around you, for everybody. You know, for for others who who probably was afraid to show their real selves, show they light. Whoever you was dealing with, they wanted it for themselves. The spirit is saying that as you move forward and free yourself and release this energy to the universe, you get a new start. You know. And I see somebody just being obedient to the divine, you know, not being perfect because you'll never be perfect. You'll never be perfect. Sure as heck not living here on a 3D. <laughs> okay. But you could definitely be obedient, obedient to the divine. If one thing I know, two things for certain is when you're obedient to the divine, there's rewards that come with that. You may not you may not see it. Possibly for a lot of you guys, you're not even looking for it. It's just you be like, okay, thank you, universe. That's for me. Yeah. Divine is like, yes. For your obedience. I seen how you went through that situation. I see how you handle it. I see how you, you know, you dealt with it. I see how it made you feel. I know all of that. Abundance and success. I'm telling you, somebody hard work is paying off spirit is saying, and you're so close. It says you are very close to achieving your goal. Very, very close. Okay. And with this regret and imagination, somebody is in their head. They have so much regret. Mm -hmm. Today could be somebody's mother birthday. Or someone's daughter's birthday today. Take out a resume. If so, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Capricorns. Yes, this is your season. <laughs> Regret and imagination. Yeah, somebody is in their head. Because somebody was out here with this deception. They was out here moving reckless. This person ain't had no discipline. Yeah, they didn't have no discipline. And this person could possibly be under judgment. And they in grief. And they could be in denial and be like, why don't I have peace? You know, why is, why is this negative energy around me? It's because what you put out is what you get back. And somebody has to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody know why something has happened to them. Let's get you. Mm -mm. I'm going to use this deck. I don't think this video is going to be wrong long. Because, yeah, six of swords to the moon card. 
your guys are here guiding you and protecting you. I heard while you sleep. With that moon card and six of swords, it's like your guys are moving you in silence. Like moving in silence. It's being hidden that somebody's being guided and led. But, you know, spirit wants you to trust your own, you know, trust your intuition at the sign. It's like somebody is getting stronger. I heard stronger in their gifts, stronger in their work, stronger in self. Give me more of this energy, Holy Spirit. Knight of Cups. So there is a love offer that's coming in. Knight of Pentacles under the bottom. Something could have been slow to come in. Uh, five, ten of Cups, Five of Wands. Maybe someone had to release some type of um, conflict with family. Because we did see the forgiving and learning. <sighs> yeah. Somebody could have had to release... Five of Wands, this could be family in this, with the Ten of Cups. They family, they in the circle. Yeah, it's like somebody had to free themselves in order to have something that was what they say, everybody can't go. Abundance is a sense. Everybody can't go with you. You know? Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Nine of Wands. Somebody been through a lot when it came to relationships and who they trusted. Give me more Holy Spirit. Eight of Cups. This is you walking away. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is you walking away. Death card. It's causing a change. And this change. Woo! Okay. Is, is the ending of a tough cycle. Okay? The end of a tough cycle for a new beginning. Anything, listen, I said earlier, somebody went through a powerful transformation. And I've been saying that in a few of my readings because it's been, somebody is, ooh, eight of wands. Somebody could be seeing something online or just wanting to communicate with you. like somebody glow up is being watched even when you think it ain't it is somebody gonna have a lot of opportunities and, and yeah a lot of things that's coming in for them the higher friend and the magician give me a card on the death card holy spirit scorpio energy Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. What's the death card, Page of Pentacles? Two of Swords in reverse. Somebody is seeing something clearly. Somebody could have felt stuck. Somebody could have felt... Felt stuck, like something wasn't ever going to change. Or well, somebody could have been resisting this change, this new beginning. What's the page of Pentacles? Four swords in the Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Somebody could have been possibly holding on to, you know, um, people who they had love for. Because the Eight of Cups, that speaks all about emotions. It, who, whoever you're walking away from, it's not, it wasn't easy. You know, it's a lot of feelings and emotions. But, um, to a source in reverse, somebody is not stuck. No. It's like the one thing that, the very thing that they was holding close to them was actually keeping them stuck. Seven of Swords under the bottom. Hi, friend. 
Taurus energy, the five of wands with the high priestess, Pisces energy. So something is like either spiritual or religious. Somebody could be very spiritual. Somebody could be very religious. Somebody could be competing with someone, trying to take something from someone. What the hell is going on? Seven of Wands. It's giving me like protection. Yeah, the devil card. What's going on here? Capricorn energy. It's like somebody's after somebody. Five of Swords. Somebody is jealous as hell and they watching. Paint of Swords. Yeah, four of pentacles, ace of wands. Somebody wanted you to hold back from a, a brand new op uh, brand new opportunity. Somebody, somebody was like, no, I don't want you to get away. Somebody was trying to keep you stuck. So you wouldn't have this. Oh, somebody could have been wow. Oh my goodness. I don't know not what this religious factors is, but somebody could be having feeling some type of way towards a spiritual person. Okay, whoever this towards a high priestess. What the heck? <laughs> high priestess, five of wands with the high friend. With the seven of wands. I mean the seven of swords to the seven of wands. Yeah, somebody somebody feels some type of way because you're protecting your energy from them because you see right through them. You could see that somebody was trying to like hurt you with, or, you know, you seen something. It's like giving me like you paid attention to the warning signs. Seven, seven, seven of swords and seven of wands. Yeah, because we see the devil. Somebody was toxic. What's the eight of cups Holy Spirit? Eight of cups. This is you walking away. Magician, Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Somebody was trying to, um, as you walk away, whatever you've been manifesting for a long time, it's about to come in. You're about to be so happy. Like, when I say so happy, it's like, whenever, whatever you're doing right now, whatever you're walking away from, you could have been dealing with somebody up to eight to ten years, eight to ten months. It's like somebody going to see, like, when they walk away, like, they're going to see how their life change, how, how things begin to be way better, right? They're going to see how happy they is. Somebody's going to realize, damn, if I would have did this before... But you had to go through it, okay? You had to go through it in order to learn the lesson. Somebody was trying to keep somebody stuck so they wouldn't walk away. Five of wands. Five of swords. They have five, five. Somebody is, ooh, child. Somebody don't like you. Somebody is jealous. You manifested your way out of this. What's the uh, magician? High priestess, come through. Yep, ten of swords in your back, but everything's still fine. Everything's still fine. There's a religious person that I'm just gonna listen. listen. We gonna just keep it funky and, and, and call it what it is. It could be a a, a a religious person that has something against this high priestess. Someone's gifts. High priestess to the page of pentacles. Somebody can be a reader, be a um, tarot reader, or someone can do something in divination. Maybe you're someone who makes like spiritual jewelry, candles. You can make cards. I just heard clothes. Somebody was hoping to try to hold you back from having a new opportunity, a new beginning. A 
new passion beginning. The spirit is saying with the ten swords, everything is still fine. Yeah, you four swords. Page of swords. Somebody is watching you like... <laughs> Okay, like how did you heal from that four swords to the ten of swords? Somebody is watching you and studying you. Like, like when I say studying you, if you do anything online, if you work online, do anything online as far as like have any type of social media, this person is right there ready. Because... I got my eyes on you and everything. Uh uh, this person is stuck. somebody got their eyes on you, stuck like glue. Ace of Wands, the moon card, judgment. Cool child. Somebody that wants you to have that new beginning, but you are. And because it's protected. Divine said, if I said it, who the hell is you to say no? I seen that person put in that hard work. I seen what that person been doing behind the scenes. Somebody feels like somebody don't deserve something. And they feel like if they do, I want to be a part of it. And if I can't be a part of it, how can I sabotage it? That's not nice. Whoever you're walking away from and freeing yourself, somebody feel out in the cold. I'm getting like somebody wants to communicate as well. Let me call them the Three of Pentacles. This could have been somebody who left you out in the cold at one time. Three of Pentacles is clarified with the Ten of Swords. When everything is fine. So this could have been um, somebody who you work with. Who you, you know, teamed up with, you trusted. Because if you, if this deck right here, there's a woman that's drawing, right? Um, You know, um, drawing the woman, you know. And then there's another lady that's on the side. Let me cover this lady up because she looks... Okay. Now you see that, right? For this lady to be like this, with no clothes on, and, and, and letting somebody, you know, draw them out like that, you have to be comfortable, right? You have to trust them, right? Um, Somebody who you trusted hurt you. But Spirit is saying 10 swords, everything is fine. And this person wants a new... It's like... Somebody wants a, 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 um, another chance with you. But um, I don't think you trust this person at all. And I see why. Queen of Pentacles to the Three of Cups. It's going to be someone's friend. Someone who you consider that as a friend. It's going to be somebody who made you feel out in the cold when you needed their support and help the most. Ten swords in your back. You was hurting. Even though Spirit is saying everything is fine, I got you, you protected. But whoever this person is with the three of pentacles that's drawing you or sculpturing you, you could have been like, Where was where was them? You know, I thought we, you know, I trusted you. I thought we worked together. I thought we was okay. I thought we, you know, thought you was my friend. Whoever, however it's gonna resonate for you guys. So I see somebody was not there for you at a time when you needed them the most. So cause I'm cause you up. Now you, what? You wasn't with me shooting in the gym? Definitely was not. The, that's like, nah. They wasn't there. And when they was there, somebody, it, it was all about the pinnacles, all about what you got, what you could do for me. Knight of Cups to the Nine of Wands. Whoever you had love for, somebody surely, like, did a number on someone. Gave them no damn choice but to walk away from. And it hurted them, actually, that they even had to walk away when they were battered and bruised up anyway. The wounded warrior. Not the ones, the wounded warrior. Eight of Cups, you, you know, you had, you had to leave. Probably wouldn't have made it out the next time. Can't make it up. Damn. 
damn, probably wouldn't have made it out the next time. And it was a towel under the bottom with five of pentacles. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, this could be you or the sign, this is, it, that hurt it, like my heart a little bit, when I said Somebody may not have made it out the next time. Whoever this person is. Spiritual, religious, like. You know they're not working with God. Because God is nothing but love. Why would you be envious and want to. Why would you want to do that? Why? Somebody is worried about your light. You're shining. You're shining too much. Somebody wants your light. They're selfish. Spirit is like, no, I gave you this light because I knew you would be a light for, for many others. Who could have been afraid to show the world the real them? I could take this. I could take this. Um, Let me see. I could take this candle right here, this one right here, right? I'm sorry, I could take this candle right here, light this candle right here, and light four, five, six, six, seven, eight more other candles. And this candle, my my candle right here, is gonna still be lit. You get what I'm trying to say, Sunsee? If it makes sense, hopefully it does. I could take my one light and light five other six, seven, eight, nine, whatever other, you know, in order. To have all of these candles lit, right? Without mines going out. Somebody wants your light and they want to smash yours. They want your light and they want to smash yours. That's it. They want it for themselves. But you see what I'm saying? You could light all these other candles without your light still going out. Like, and people don't understand. People don't understand. How you made it out. People don't it's, it's, it's your heart. And there's intention behind everything. Can't make it up. Cannot make it up. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. <sighs> My nose itching. Yep. King of Swords. Double confirmation. Come on now. <sighs> Page of Wands. Whoever you leaving out is causing a goddamn tower. Five of Pentacles, the tower, the star. It could be Aquarius or a Scorpio. Four of Cups. The higher frame. And for others of you guys, somebody could be feeling left out. Um, they could be feeling like they missed the opportunity, you know, when it comes to being in a, you know, a relationship with you, a commitment. Six of, um, six of cups, eight of pentacles. Yeah, whoever this is from your past, they want to work with you. Oh, wow. But seven of swords, yeah. You don't trust working with whoever this is, a hermit. Be a Virgo, Page of Cups. You don't trust working with someone. Mm -mm. Yeah, I just seen the devil. Give me a call for the High Priestess, Holy Spirit. High Priestess. Thank you. Four Cups. What's the four cups for the high priestess? Four cups for the high priestess. Three of wands, sideways. 
What's the three of wands sideways? King of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody, um, uh, it's like whoever you leave it behind, they were standing in your way anyway. Something that spirit wanted you to see. Like, yeah, they were standing in your way anyway. Four, four cups, three of wands sideways to the king of pentacles. Like somebody was getting in the way of your bag. Lovers, your love life. Just, oh, I heard stopping every damn thing. Ooh, shit. What's the king of pentacles? Possibly a Taurus. What's the king of pentacles? Or you can be a Taurus. Take a high resonance. I see the king of pentacles. Two of Pentacles. What's the Two of Pentacles? Somebody could have been trying to make you um, unbalanced. King of Wands? Mm, somebody could be a Taurus, have, have heavy fire in their side. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Who's the King of Wands? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was coming for what somebody got. And somebody realizing that. Yeah. Now they, now they feel some type of way. And they, and they, they in their head and regret. Yeah, imagination and regret. Yeah. How they rejected your cup before. Okay. Or how they was flighty in your life, in and out. And when they did come putting you through all of this stuff. Somebody taking action, coming in just to make somebody unbalanced. That's in this very single abundant energy. Spirit, like, no, this gotta stop. There's other things you gotta do. Six of Pentacles. There's other things you gotta do. Whatever's being gifted to you, deserve it. Spirit is saying your hard work is paying off. You're very close to achieving your goals. You deserve it. And I don't, you know, wh whoever you are, Sunsees, you know, there's somebody that feels like they wanna take something from you. Justice under the bottom. You about to get karma. Karmic justice is coming to you. Yep. King of Cups. Ooh. Ace of Cups. Ooh. Who that? Who that? We did see. What's that? Let's go back. Oh. Okay. Spirit did say whoever that new love is, that's the true love. <laughs> That new love is the true love. Yeah, somebody want to come in and try to throw this throw this thing off. Cause some type of bad luck to hold somebody up. Yeah, from that true love. Somebody know you about to get karmic justice in every area of your life. Because I heard somebody was just holding up your money and love like anything. Like, who, who was this person? So, see, get them out the way. Shit, move around. King of Cups, Justice, Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Double Confirmation on the Pisces, Libra, Six of Wands, The World, Nine of Cups. Yeah, there's some type of wish that's coming true for you. Okay. Somebody could be seeing this online. Queen of Pentacles, The Chariot. Yeah, this is this is you. Having the discipline, the, 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 the willpower to move forward. Success is yours. Page of Wands. Be expecting good news. Yeah, the hang one for swords, the devil. Somebody is obsessing over you, though. Because they got some responsibilities that they burden with. And they just like, somebody is hurt. Three of swords, five of pentacles, ace of pentacles, page of swords. Yeah, somebody is watching this gifted one. Somebody is watching you being granted a new opportunity. And they study you. Could it possibly be a lot of rumors, a lot of talking about your name?
whoever this lover is that wants to come back and reconcile with you, they planning something. They're planning something. I'm hearing love and joy is, is all around you. Love and joy. Ace of Swords, the Sun card. Seven of Pentacles, the Star, the Judgment. Somebody else could be, it could be a, a group of people that's envious that a person is choosing you, that a person wants to be with you, that a person wants to gift you with something, offer you something. Because fair to say, this new love is true love. Not everybody, it will be a new person. For some of you guys, it's a, um, it's a, it's somebody who, who, who had to let go of, um, karmic cycles, you know, patterns and heal themselves in order to come, come through the right way and take action towards you. Can't make it up for once. Could be a divine, um divine union soulmate twin flame but what that four wants is also could be a proposal five of cups regret knight of wands yeah but whoever this player is they regret king of swords <clears throat> somebody else know they lost you ten of pentacles It hurt. It hurt me too. Somebody know that I lost you. Damn. Possibly you could have been married to this person, or just in a commitment with this person. And for a lot of you guys, somebody would just wanted to be a player. Damn. This hurt. It don't hurt for you, but for them, it hurts. Or somebody could just be realizing that they shit, they don't want to be a player no more. Let me see something. Let me see. Damn, Empress, you came out. Ten of Pentacles, Empress. Somebody like, I want to lock you down. For others of you guys, you're going to get everything that you deserve. You know? You're going to get everything that you deserve in a new love. Somebody who put you through a lot when you was in a relationship with them that walked away from you. You know? They're in a lot of regret. A lot. Six of Swords. Oh, damn. Six of Swords to the Emperor. King of Swords. Somebody not playing about you. They not about to play. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Is this the old love? Five of Cups. The old love is in regret. Five of cups, energy. Five of wands in reverse. They don't want to fight no more. They don't want to put you in competition. They don't want to. They don't want the drama on it. They want, somebody want a brand new beginning. They don't want to fight no more. Somebody feels so bad for what they did to you. I keep seeing the higher friend. Was you married to this person? Nine of Wands? Six of Cups?
somebody had to heal some type of beliefs that they had, some outdated beliefs that came from the past. Give me a card on the new love. The new love. The new love. The new love. The hermit to the star. <laughs> Aquarius Virgo energy. Whoever this person is, they got the eye on you. They very attracted to you. They see you as a star. Shining bright. Somebody see something in you. I just heard. This person could be, you know, older or just wiser. This person could have like a, you know, um, gray and black beard. Give me more of this new love, Herman and stuff. Oh, thank you. Okay, Eight of Cups. Page of Wands. This person is coming towards you. What's the Eight of Cups? Eight of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Wow, Spirit. Whoever your new love is, your new love was in Hermit Healing. Yeah, your new love was in Hermit Healing. Um, doing the work on themselves. You know, walking away from things that no longer serve them. Y'all gonna talk about all of this, though. So. Y'all gonna talk about all of this. How they wanna work with you. Three of Pentacles, a page of wands. How they feel like, you know, working with you, being in a relationship with you, how this collaboration, like, it's going, it's going to hit. It's going to hit. Ace of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles, it's going to hit. Yes, the Shrimp card, the Chariot. Damn, the Sun, King of Cups. It is protected. Ooh, well, spirit. This is beautiful. Somebody could be a Cancer Leo cuss. Somebody could be a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Damn. And it's protected. But this is what happens when somebody is fully in their north node. When you're in your when you're in your north node, this is what happens. I'm like worried about that. Somebody worried about that. I just think the high priest is a nine of swords. Somebody could be worried about you finding out about a secret. Ten of swords. But yeah, you know, your north node is different. That is a new version of you as well. North Node is a new version of you. This is some you stepping into your purpose. Okay? Because you don't just come out <laughs> into the world in your North Node. Okay? You go, you went through a lot. You don't go on through a lot. I've seen a lot. <laughs> okay? But you a healer. The star to a hermit, that's a, um, you could be coming into someone that's a healer. You know, like a shaman. Um, somebody, uh, Real, real, real. They know how to heal people. Somebody else worried about you finding out a secret. What's the Ten of Swords? Something that you probably already done knew already, High Priestess, that you, you already healed and moved on from. What's this? I cannot make it up. Ace of Swords, Spirit, that's a damn true. Page of Swords. Look at you, Empress, you back out. <laughs> Empress, what did I say? If somebody worried about you find out about a secret, you already knew anyway. They worried about you find you already knew. They be watching you. Six of Pentacles, Page Swords. Somebody watching you. Nine of Pentacles, four one. See if you get some type of gift or propose. Something could be somebody could be proposing somebody online. Oh, you know what? Online. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here, cause I. 
don't want to ruin, ruin the plans. I don't want to ruin the plans. You could have met this person online. I don't want to ruin the plans, man. <laughs> I said it wasn't going to go. This video wasn't going to be Lord Sun Steve, but y'all know I'll be after like. I have to go into de to, to get to the details. You know, I'm going to death when it comes to this because. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, shit. But this was a good reading, though, overall. You know? Like I said, wherever you going in life, it is a it's a it's a big thing, you know, when it comes to the divine and you're so protected. And like I said, it just, you know, everybody can't go with you. You know? Somebody really hurt because you know, you don't just do people like that. You don't just do people like that. Somebody really learning that that lesson. Do I have anything else I want for my son? Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Any angel messages on the screen before we close this out? Please and thank you. For my beautiful collective sun seeds. Yeah, so see, so let your intuition guide you, okay? At this time, because spirit is saying love is on its way. Love is on its way. And be mindful of just, you know, energies that's coming back or just trying to attach themselves to you to keep you stuck, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. But spirit is saying, use your intuition. You will know, okay? Throat chakra, clear yourself and singing and dancing. So somebody could be a singer, somebody could be a dancer. That could be a way of you expressing yourself, um, you um, expressing your art, helping you heal as you clear out energies. Somebody, yeah, um, somebody feels like they have to speak to you, they have to tell you something, but I feel like you already know. But somebody is feeling like they're being nudged and guided to come to speak some type of truth to you. Sacral chakra and goddess. Your hard work is paying off. You're very close to achieving your goals. That's all I see with those cards, goddess. Heart chakra. Respect your emotional sensitivity. The person you're crying about is a natural born indigo leader. Yeah. Vigilant success. You've got this, Sunseeds. You're so close. With this sacral chakra, God, this is um, like your sexual energy to your womb. Like, goddess. It's, you, 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 you're this close. Okay? Just keep your faith. I love you, Empress. Empress. I love you guys so very much. Abundant success is all yours. And the love, you know, with the peace. Spirit is saying you have peace of mind. Peace in your home. Peace at work. Peace in your, in your connections with people. That faith card is spirit to say, just stay hopeful, sunsies. Because divine timing is at play. There's a gift that someone is about to get. And I don't I don't think you have no idea. You just living your daily life and you know you're just doing your things and you have no idea what is about to come in for you. But you deserve it. I love you guys so very much, Sunseeds. So very much. Make sure you guys um, subscribe, like, and share. Hit that notification button so you can get a um, notification every time I upload. I love you, Sunseeds. It does not. You don't need to... Take out somebody else's light to shine. You could use your light to help be a light for others.
Trust your intuition. Trust your guides. Continue to be loving. I don't know. I'm just channeling some seeds. Whoever this I'm picking up, you cut your cords and yeah, look, Earth Angel. Somebody is intimidated by your light. You are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. <laughs> When people come in contact with you, even if they never love, you make them remember your love. You make them be open to change. I love you. <laughs>